Hello everyone and welcome to our Viable Training Program. We're really glad to have you guys this year. To start, I'm going to be showing you guys how to access your registration. So to do that, you'll go up to the top right corner of the screen and click on your name. From there, you'll click on My Profile. Once you get there, you will be able to see all your profile information as well as the courses you're enrolled in. If you're the main registrant, you'll see the screen payments button here. You'll be able to click on that. On this page, you'll see your remaining balance and all your account information. If you have an additional registrant, they will also appear here for you to view and make sure everything's okay. A couple things we want you to note here is to make sure that the workbook mailing address is correct. It's just to make sure that you guys get your workbook in a timely manner. Also, if you have an additional registrant, uh, make sure that they have created a profile with their account. Our system sends them an email to make sure that they do that when you register them for a class. If we do get close to the start of the program though and you notice this message here, no profile has been set up with this email yet, make sure you get in touch with them. Let them know that they do need to set up a profile so that they can access the content in the video conferences to be a part of the class. I'll also ensure that they do receive their workbook if they are the ones who need to enter in the address for their workbook to be sent to. Cool. Next, we'll go ahead and enter in the classroom. You can find that by clicking on the training tab. From here, you will see all the classes that you're currently registered to. You'll be able to click on that tab and it'll take you to a classroom just like this one. On the left, you'll see all your media content for the culture of the month, as well as any uploads that you can get or downloads for the audio. Also on the other side here, you'll see the workbook related content here pertaining to the culture that you're in for that month. As you get further into the year, you'll also see this change icon up here. This is for you to be able to navigate in between the different cultures as you go through the year. Um, from here everything's the same, it just allows you to see everything that's going on. You will also see the video conference that pertains to your month's culture as well here. So I'll show you how to access that later on and also how to find it in the archive. But this is, will be the name of the video conference that you're accessing. So it's always good to know where it's at. On the left here, you will be able to see all your classmates as well. We do encourage you to add a photo to your profile so that people have a face to the name. They can feel more connected to you in that way. We also have on in your classroom the ability to go to our discussions board. This is the wall where all of your classmates are able to go right here. And you can share any ideas, thoughts that you have about the content that you're reading for that month. You can share testimonies, prayer requests, and more, and it really is just a great way for you to really get involved, get connected to your fellow classmates who are all around the world. Whenever we have a video conference available for you to watch, we will be streaming them live and you'll see this box appear here. This is, from here you'll be able to click on Watch Live VC, and that will take you directly to the video conference room. From here, you'll be able to see any of your fellow students who are currently in the video conference room with you. You'll be able to chat with them and share messages with them. You'll be able to share testimonies about the month or just anything that's going on in general as you get connected with your classmates. Also, during the video conference, we have Ask Questions tab here. You'll be able to input any questions that you have and you'll be able to ask it of our hosts. We really encourage you to come prepared with questions about any content, anything that you want to know more about for the content of that month. Come ready with those questions. They always get really excited about those. And we will always do our best to answer any questions that you post during the video conferences. If for any reason you do happen to miss a video conference, we do have it available in an archive for you. From here, what you'll do is you'll click on the events tab and then you'll be able to click on the video conferences here. You'll see the upcoming video conferences that are available to you here and you'll be able to um, make sure you add that to your calendar, make sure you know that they're coming so you can be a part of those. But like I said, if you do miss some, 
You'll be able to come to the past video conferences by scrolling down a little bit and you'll see all the video conferences that you have access to and you'll be able to watch them or download the audio versions of those video conferences. Feel free to use the contact us form here. You'll be able to click on that. If you are already signed in, it will pre-populate your information here for you and you'll be able to select a drop from this drop down here, the reason that you're contacting us, if it's issues, if it's with a particular program that we have, you'll be able to select that for us and then leave us some information as to what your question is and be as detailed as you can if it's a technical issue and just let us know how best we can help you and you'll be able to press the send button down here to send that to us and we'll respond in a timely manner. That's all I have for this tutorial today. Thank you so much for your time. We're really excited to have you in this program this year.